Dude, I actually I put your theory to test about girls liking shitty music all weekend. It's true. Dude, it's uh it is. We were in a car and we had a rental, so Brittany drove the whole time, so she controlled the radio. And mm-hmm. it's like I I've actually I was thinking about it, I'm like all the music we listen to it just sucks. It's just all yeah. like weird girl songs and uh I think what it is is that it's more so hot chicks have bad taste in music. Maybe. I'm. This is through my experience. It's definitely the hotter ones. Like the better your taste in music, you're probably not that hot. And if you're so hot, all you want to listen to is songs about like 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 Adam Levine being like, "I love you so much. You're the most beautiful girl." Sure. That's like their gangster rap. We were listening like if to you it. listen to Ice Cube and you're like, "Fuck yeah, dude, I'm pumped up." They need to listen to some guy be like, "You're the most beautiful girl yeah. in the world." They drive around on. Yeah. I'll treat you like a princess. Yeah. Exactly. You deserve the best. That's their confidence, dude. They drive around, and be like, "Dude, this is there's yeah. this song's about me," and they just drive oh, around. Oh God. So I put that together. I'm like, no, damn, you're right dude. about that. My yeah. girlfriend today, this weekend, my girlfriend and I just fought the whole time. That's awesome for no reason. Yeah, we hadn't fought in so long, and then this weekend it was just like you fired up a good holiday. I drove home from fucking Connecticut. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you that after the second show on Saturday, you fucking went night commando. I on didn't it. want to sleep in that hotel again on Saturday night. I drove the whole way from fucking Hartford, Connecticut to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Ooh. At I left Hartford at like eleven thirty or midnight. Is that five hours? Yeah. I got, I got home at like 5, 5.30. God damn. And even yeah, with that effort, yeah, that nice. Herculean effort to be home for Christmas Eve, to sleep with my bitch on Christmas Eve. So you got home at 5 in the morning on Christmas, the Christmas eve of Christmas eve. eve. No, on Christmas Eve, I woke up at 5.30 on Monday. Okay, gotcha. Or Sunday, excuse me. Because Saturday night was the last show. I drove home Saturday night. Oh, so you, yes, you got, got there the day Christmas before Eve. Christmas Eve. Got no, you. I got home on Christmas Eve. Yeah, but like the very beginning. You got to wake up on sure. Christmas Eve with your baby. Yes. Got you. And uh, even then, I just had a salty bitch the whole weekend. At five in the morning? No, that night she was cool. Well, kind of. She was just like, oh, hey. Went to sleep. I was like, hey. Yeah. We could do other things. You're fresh off the road, dude. I just, I just, no, I was dead. You I were, didn't want anything. You were a fucking, horny trucker, dude. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was full on fucking falling asleep. So what do you want to do? I just went to sleep, but no. Then the next day, it was kind of like... Mm-hmm. It's cold. How was it? Oh, cool. It was like, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I see where this is going. Little, hopefully, little. hopefully, this mood passes. Uh-huh. It didn't. Really? All weekend, up until just now. That when sucks. I left, the mood was still... It was icy. I had a salty bitch for Christmas. <sighs> Nobody asked for that for Christmas. No, that was the, that's the coal of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, even after I got her an amazing gift... Yeah. Amazing from Toxic Draws It. So there's a graphic guy in Philly, Toxic yeah. Yeah. Draws It. Check him out. Uh-huh. Uh, he drew my bitch and my, my bitch's dog nice. into her favorite movies. So she likes Step Brothers. Uh-huh. So I got the, a picture drawn of them as the Step Brothers. Nice. And a picture of my bitch and her dog. That's what's up. Uh, Grand Budapest. It was wonderful. Toxic draws it. Great guy. Yeah. Gave her that gift. She loved it, but still a little... Uh, a little salty, bro. A little salty bitch. I know what she wants for Christmas. What's that? The old, a little something, a little fucking finger warmer, dude. What's that? Well, this little something to slip on the fucking ring finger, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn, Cusky. <laughs> hit me with that. <laughs> dude, right, at first I thought you were talking about fingering. I was like, no. No, dude, I'm tried. not going to say I that. <laughs> Trying to figure okay. her out. I gave her the mood. picture, then I tried to figure <laughs> yeah. her. I was getting shit from my girlfriend's parents. Like, how long have you guys been together? Not parents, but like aunts and shit. Be like, you guys should be married by now. And it's like they, it's like this collective fucking force. I know it is. It's like I think it's you know they have like one person in one of those shows, and like they're really like five hundred other people, and they form into one person. You know, I'm talking, I guess you don't watch a lot of witch and vampire shows like I do. <laughs> No, I don't. You know, like a mega witch like the, can like uh, take over the minds of the villagers. Like the Power Rangers form into one thing, kind of. But I'm mean? thinking more of like one dark force, just like putting out their little okay, minions. Yes. You know, it's all yes. I think one like collective the brain. Exactly. Bug in stormtroopers. Exactly. Because it's star troopers. You know, weirdly, yeah, you'll have like these. You know, and I guess it's some weird. I don't know what it is, but like just some lady's aunt I never met being like. Two, two years is long enough. You should be getting married. Yeah, people it's just always like, tell you to get married. It's like, God damn, what the fuck? What do you have? What, what the fuck does this have to do with you? It's like, get out of this. <laughs> Luckily, her uncle's looking at me like, fuck her, dude. Don't listen to yeah, her. The uncles will be like, get the fuck out of there. They're like, dude, shut the film. Fucking listen to this. Yeah. I was actually getting a lot of uh, praise because my girlfriend gained weight. Oh, so sick. You bring, yeah, oh, you bring, when you bring home, your, no, seriously, you bring home your fucking black girlfriend with some extra pounds on her to her family. Everyone's like, yo, man, you're fucking, the, you're the man. 
Oh, you're so that, the man. I'm the man, yeah. For giving her so many if you sweet put weight, If you put weight on your bitch, dude, that's a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely fatten your girlfriend up. You, you fucking put put a good 25 pounds on, dude. We're digging some holes here. <laughs> if our bitches get a hold of this. <laughs> no, she knows, dude. Yeah, I bet she does. But, you know, I love dude, it. I, if our I bitches love it. get a hold of this cast. <laughs> We're in trouble. You fucked me. You fucked me. <laughs> My bitch is fat as fuck, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Shut Dude, up. That's... I know she's mad, right? When? She's no, not... you're not. Shut up. <laughs> no, she's not fat at all. Your, your girlfriend's been hitting the fucking gym. Yes. Mine but... has not, been. <laughs> <laughs> she would fucking kill me, dude. But no, I think she looks good. So I was getting more like a... Because there's not a Mine lot of like... Mine has not. <laughs> there's not a lot of points within like white chicks for thickening up. No. You know what I mean? So she's no. getting her like... Her aunts and like all these people would be like, "Oh, Brittany, you're getting a little butt on you." So like, you know, they're definitely checking out each other's butts and comparing. So it's a whole different ball game. So thicker, yeah. thicker than a snicker. I think baby. you gotta watch that with black ladies, right? What they fucking blow up, don't they? Not really, dude. No, no. They a lot of it, it all depends. They can. I, thought, I felt like that was a stereotype of like black ladies. A, I, I feel like every old black lady sees a fucking house. <laughs> that, can, <laughs> that can happen. No, that can happen. Yeah. But then I'd watch ladies who've eaten like shit, and they're just like great shaped. Sure. I think it's, it's probably it, this, uh, they can. It's they have to work harder to house out because like I I just feel like black ladies can eat. I used to date a lady who ate like six Laffy Taffies every night before bed. <laughs> she, had a, she had a decent body, dude. She had a decent body. Dude, so. black ladies, <laughs> well, here, without getting too depressed about this, uh, black ladies, they probably get, black people probably get fatter because their diets. Their diets are pretty That the bad. white man is forced upon them is like, no. here, eat a Snickers right now. Not even that, dude. It's like I've talked to coworkers before where they're, I think I've, I might even have said this where this guy's putting like 14 sugars into his coffee. Not exaggerating. Sure. Yeah. I've seen that. And I'm like, dude, you're going to get diabetes. He's like, it runs in my family, dude. If I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. I'm like, no bro. Like <laughs> yeah, type two diabetes. Like, so yeah, the diets, I feel like, I feel like definitely, uh, you get, you get some black health nuts, but for the most part, the yeah. health revolution is a lot of like white people with gluten free, dairy free. White people with free. enough privilege to be like, no, I don't want to eat fast food today. I don't eat dairy. Sure. Just cutting dairy out is being like, eh, I'll eat soy milk. But there's there's yeah. a lot a lot of black people who are lactose intolerant too though on the yeah. on the low, lactose lactose retarded. That's a one headliner called it. Dude. Lactose retarded. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got what the fuck are we even talking? Oh yeah. How girls? The music. Yeah. They girls. So I had a I had an icy bitch. So when she's yeah. icy, yeah, she plays the music in the car. That's when I know she's in a fucking shitty. Yeah, mood. Yeah, you gotta let them have their. Fucking... She like controls the radio and we just don't talk. Uh huh. So. Like, if she's in a good mood, she'd be like, put on whatever you want. Uh. Yeah. So when she's in a bad mood, it's her music, and we just don't talk. So we're listening to fucking Adam Levine Ugh. and all this. Po- she listens to the fucking radio. She Ed Sheeran, like, yeah, all that stuff. It's like. The pop radio. I it's so you fl- fucking it's, dude, bad. It's horrible, man. And there's nothing that. So first off, we fight for absolutely no reason. Mm-hmm. So she's mad for and nothing. And you got to listen to some and guy. And sit in the car Ugh. listening to fucking pop stations. Yeah. There's nothing that makes me angrier than just being like, what? in my head, I'm just like, what the fuck are you upset about? Yep. And I have a soundtrack of shit to think about <laughs> that, too. It makes me feel weird. Yeah, when I'm in an argument. And I'm and- just like, fuck it. I'll, we can fucking end this right now. I don't give a fuck, dude. So you if go, you like, full, like, so you're. I don't say it, but she's I. She's on Ed Sheeran, and you're on, like, 1998 Eminem, dude. I'm just like- looking out the window, just <laughs> fucking, like, I don't care at all. <laughs> If she wants to act like a salty bitch, I have no room for it. You're I'm done. just like, dude, I'll fucking walk. The pop radio will do that to you. Pop radio and a salty bitch is enough to get me just like... Hey, dude, it kills you. I'll roll out of this car right now. I have a weird thing with pop music anymore to where like whenever I hear a song, like the last one that was like... Uh, what was that Rihanna song where it was like they had like the Carlos Santana going on in the background? You know what I'm talking about? It's like... Yes. Wicked Wild Thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, any song like that anymore, any sort of like pop hit, I just all I can think about is like a dental hygienist listening to it and just like just have le- like left some guy with like an attitude T-shirt from like coming inside of her butt. <laughs> She's driving to work the next day, like wow, wow. <laughs> That's who's consuming that. Yeah, it's just like all every time I listen to pop music, I just think of like drunk dental hygienists driving back into work, all like fucked up. They slept out that night and just got like railed by some fucking dude, <laughs> some shitty guy at a local yeah. bar. Listen, it's just like Listen uh, to Kesha. Ke- exactly. Kesha's the Tick shit though. Talk on the clock and they're just driving like I'm the best. Kesha's the shit. 
I, dude, I'm telling you, I, that's all I can think about now. Every new song that's that comes really out, Brittany's like, how about this song? And it's just like the dental hygienist comes back in my head. I'm like, dental oh, hygienist getting know. butt fucked <laughs> yeah. and still having to go to work yeah. and listening to it. She's like, wow, what a crazy night. Yep. <laughs> Viana is so fucking sweet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's I mean, it's the same thing for comedy, though. It's the same retard consumption. Yeah. Like, I mean, the crowds at the shows this weekend, like me and Voss were mm-hmm. even talking about it. It's just like, these people are fucking idiots. Yeah. And that's who's dumb enough to go to a fucking comedy show. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you go see stand-up randomly, mm-hmm. like, if you're not a fan of the guy, it's cool. I understand doing that. I lo- obviously, I like comedy yeah. a lot. But, like, there's there's a groups of fucking idiots. Yeah. Groups of really stupid fucking people. Yeah, it's that bizarre. That you gotta try to make laugh. And the only thing that they laugh at is dick. Yeah. Dick and pussy jokes. Yeah. Or, like, you gotta do real, uh, you know... Like my wife, my wife. No, not my wife. Like my wife. <laughs> you fucking just got to take her, please, dude. You yeah, bore yeah, her yeah. presentation would kill. Yeah, but if there was a guy I opened for and he was just crushing with like, yeah, man, I pile up park my wife all the time. We fight when I'm by, I'm by myself. I'm like, I don't fight. It's you, babe. And everyone's like, <laughs> I, think, I think I've had, I think I've had that take exactly on this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> my my bitch tried to parallel park in the city. You guys got in a fight? Got in a fight immediately. She's like before before she even hit, moved it in reverse. Really? She like put it in reverse and instantly was like, "Shut up! I'm trying." I was like, "Oh my god, dude!" I've bowed out of all. So I my last my latest ebook right now is meditation. Yeah. So now I'm a big meditation head. Yeah. So I'm too cool for my bitch, dude. She comes and tries to hit me with stuff, and I'm just kind of like, hmm. I'm like the dude from Kill Bill on her now. Oh boy. And the book I'm reading right now, this dude. You can tell towards the middle, it's, he wrote this meditation book, and then like a good four chapters are dedicating to like how to handle your bitch when she's salty. It's like, and just tell her that. Uh, dude, it's so funny, yeah. this guy. It's like he wrote this book just to deal with this fucking babe. I handle it the exact this is a new, I used wrong to fucking, way. I used to spaz and lash out, dude. I don't spaz ever, but I'm just like, what are you fucking mad at? Like, why are you doing this? You can't, like, even, get, you can't even get accusatory. You shouldn't do that. You can't even get yeah. accusatory. And she'll be like, well, you instigate. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I instigate a little, but yeah, I don't know. This it starts out with her being a salty bitch, mm-hmm. and then my f- way of dealing with that is being like, you're acting like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, that fucking crushes. And them, that's dude. terrible. It crushes them. I go. My whole thing now is that when my bitch gets too salty, I completely just get super nice, and I'm just like, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what's oh, going yeah, on. But dude. she'll know what I'm doing if I do that. Yeah, but you, there's ways you can do it, yeah. or you can be like. You know, or you just gotta let him fucking spaz. I let her sure. spaz on me all the time, and I wait, and then I get a good fucking. I'm sorry, and I'm like, it's totally fine. So I've been ice cold. I've been cool, but I've been doing half hour blocks of meditation in the morning. Yeah. So I'm too. I, I'm unstoppable, dude. That's You've my been big doing th- meditation for two hours. No, half an hour. Half an hour. I'm sorry. Every I morning. Said two. I was like, damn, dude, that's crazy. Hey, half an hour is tough, man. I've been trying to do well, like you just sit on the floor. Half an hour uninterrupted. In I set a timer. Style? I sit in my computer chair and I listen to fucking like. Dee- and I sit in my chair and fucking... So you just take a nap every morning? No, I don't. I don't sleep, dude. I don't sleep. I'm I'm unstoppable right now, and I've stopped trying to be right against my bitch. That's the thing. I'll, like, using logic is just not the weapon to use. What, against bitch? You, it just goes nowhere. If you, as soon as I get her into a corner of like, yeah, but you said this, so I... And then it makes all... It all makes sense, and she, they'll just pivot. They're yeah. in, You're on like a pure 2D realm of arguments, and they're in like a 360 virtue fighter sure. dude they're like they can spin and move and jump and you're just yeah. like a two dimensional polywog dude you're just like walking around like yeah. <laughs> you're a pac-man you're yeah just, you can't <laughs> <laughs> you're like so, but this happened and then this happened and then this you have happened, to be full nelson like, mandela Mel- nelson mandela they he would uh all the guards that were like come and like i guess guard him be like mean to him he'd be super nice to them so mm-hmm. they'd start being nice to him and they'd have to take the guards away and switch them yeah, so all you can do. Your, your babe's basically a prison warden, dude. So you have to just make yeah. her. You got to be nice to her. But my babe, like that's that was her pivot. She was like, I was like, man, you really you're in a terrible fucking mood. Like, what happened? What's wrong? Mm-hmm. She's like, I, it's not. She's like, you fucking, you instigate. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. I mean, I instigate after you're in a bad mood. Yeah, like, I'm going back. I do to the, the same original. thing. I'm if, like, what happened that started this fight that we're in now? Yeah. And she's like, well, you kept pushing it. It's like, yeah, I know. But what happened to start this fight? Like, 
just the Who constant knows, pivot. Dude. It's like it's my fault for now that we're fighting. So you're 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 trying to go towards the bottom of the fucking abyss, dude. You're trying yeah, to get I'm to, the, trying you to be can't. Like, what dude. is the problem here? What's it's, the problem that started this? No, you and can't. And then it's like, <laughs> well, then you screamed at me. It's like, yeah. I, first off, I didn't fucking scream. Yeah, I know. I slightly <laughs> raised my voice, and it was after it was mid fight. It was mid fight. They'll do that, and it'll be like, well, what's the matter? And it's like nothing. I'm fine. And I'm oh like, my god. Well, clearly you're not. And they're like, well, I just literally said I'm fine. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. you understand, you know, body language and all. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. whatever. And you're just like, all right, <laughs> fuck this. Yeah. But I, I just go in the other. My big thing is I go in the other room. Take sure. a, a taking a walk's a powerful statement. You take a walk, dude. They don't know where you're at for 20 minutes. You have to walk on 30 minutes, and they get a they're little like, like dogs. Did he just fucking the second leave? You walk out the room. They're like, where the fuck did they go? <laughs> I mean, I'll never see them again. Oh my god. And then take you walk a, back in. And they're like, holy fuck, I love you. Yeah, you take a nice long walk, dude. Yeah. You know, I, I won't get it. I love you right away. I'll get it like the day later. But that sure. walk sets a powerful precedent, dude. Well, we'd be good. We literally hadn't been in a fight for like months. Yeah, months I'm the opposite. I've been, no I've, been I've been on like I've been in Gettysburg for like a yeah, month, you've, and then, and then like, <laughs> like, bullets have been flying since day one. Dude. And then you guys last, like Eminem and Rihanna, and that oh, one we are, dude. Burning song. The last, what it's called. <laughs> the last, uh, the last week has been real mellow, dude. I've been doing my meditation. I've been on back Holy on no shit, fat. My bitch just texted me, dude. What she said? She better not be talking shit. Sent me a picture shit. of the dog. <laughs> oh, so you guys made up? No, because. She was like, "Are you? I don't want to read her text. I don't read her text. But it was, it was basically like, she was apologizing. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, but you got it. The only way I mind fuck, I can, I can get in there and be like, all right, let's see you. Yeah. Like when I left to come back to Philly, I was like, all right, later. You fucked up this weekend. Like, you ruined <laughs> Christmas, and now I'm going home. <laughs> Yeah, I I have to I get in arguments so bad that like they only can be end they only can be ended by a cream pie. That's the only way to make amends, dude. <laughs> if you fucking don't come inside your girlfriend, you're still arguing until you fucking oh, cream pie. Oh, interesting theory. I've never cream pied. You guys have been fighting forever. I don't cream pie. That's, dude. that's the only that's the only time. Of, that's the only time of peace, dude. That's a high risk. That's maneuver. the only time of peace. You got to send a nice cream pie. You hold hands and lay there, and it's like that's your piece. Half hour at a time. Matt. <laughs> Ew. Hey, man. That's how you make Ew. up. What? Cream pie? Yeah. Ew, dude. I, and a, I and a, I love you cream pie, dude. As you're coming, I love you. <laughs> you have some really awful <laughs> theories. This may be your dumbest fucking theory. Cream pie and I when also... you listen to this and you have a fucking child that you created out of a fight, yeah. you're going to feel That's like how you make kids, moron. dude. Read Angela's Ashes. <laughs> yeah. Read Angela's Ashes. <laughs> But no, that's how you do it. I also can't sleep unless I'm holding a tit. That's my new realization. Mm, I do that sometimes. It's very I, I can't fucking sleep, nice. Dude. You snuggle with a tit in your Snuggle hand? with a tit hold? Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah. You try to get two sometimes. You get that's the fucking, fucking turn down. Get dude. that fucking slap. They're good at that. I know, dude. Dude, that's I fucking... That's bitch karate, dude. If, if that's when you also know. If you are if you can spoon and hold a tit, you're not in a fight. Yeah. I'll be spooning when we're in a fight, and I'll go for the tit, and she'll be like, yeah. And I'm like, I can't hold your tit, seriously? Like, you're that mad? She's I can't like, hold yeah. your tit. <laughs> That's the only way. That's my pacifier, dude. Yeah, Yo, you. I got to be squeezing a D, and otherwise your I bitch it, must what? be the weirdest fucking people. Oh, we fight all the time. You guys must just be. It must be crazy. <laughs> no, it's it's been peaceful, dude. It must be real crazy it to has, see like just peaceful. the dynamic of like. It's bizarre, it must dude. Must be so funny. It's bizarre world, man. You guys probably say and do some real weird shit all the time. <laughs> it's this total bizarre world, but you know, mine working. mine is exactly what you'd imagine. Placid. I, I sit on the couch and play Quiet. FIFA. She walks around and does shit. Yeah. Occasionally we'll talk. <laughs> it's, okay, it's nice. Well, this was the first weekend we actually like would be in a car and like a half hour go by and I'd be like, oh, fuck. And we'd just forget the other one was sitting there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was the first. And I was like, Did you cool. drive to Chicago? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. It was an ugly oh, Christmas. It's so it fucking funny. funny. That's hilarious, it's dude. Funny. That is so fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is impressive. Yeah. This is my bitch is not going to be happy. Yeah, I shouldn't even bring this up. Yeah, I thought better of it. You don't want to? Uh, it's fine. You don't have to. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. What's it rhyme with? Nothing. It oh. just. Uh, this is just a power move. She okay. had been acting shitty. She's grinching you. She grinched me yeah. on Christmas. Yeah. And then she had a couple of drinks. Everything was good. We were happy mm-hmm. at my parents' house. Then we get back to her house. She thinks things are hunky dory. 
I said, "Oh, you reminded her of her transgressions." I hit her the old nah. Ooh. She was like, "We should," you know. She tried to. She tried to get some. Hit her with some Christmas girl. dong. You hit her with some girl magic, and I said, "Not tonight, baby." Really? Yeah. Wow. How impressive is that? That's highly impressive. Mm-hmm. Well, I drank enough wine. I was kind of confident my dick might not work. That's a good. I was just gonna say <laughs> the only thing that could stop me if I'm drunk yeah. and I know my dick's not gonna work. I'm like, "Not tonight. Yep. Leave me alone." That's, that's exactly what I that's did. That's fair. My dick, my dick was on the fence. Powerful message. It might message. have worked. That's a powerful message. But I was like, "You, what do you think? We're fine now." You were acting. Yeah. I still got to apologize, and she was like, "What? Come on, wow. come on!" And I was like, "Nah, FIFA, you go to bed." Wow. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, that's cold. That's a dude. Christmas. She wow. Got, she got a, she got some coal. That's a Christmas miracle, dude. That's coal for her. She opened up the stocking, dude. There was just yeah. a lump of coal. Lump it was a of fucking coal. squishy lump of coal. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I tried that when I was married. I'd be like, I just won't bring up sex and we'll see what happens. Fuck her. And like I waited like five days and was like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, dude, Fuck you. If you don't ask for sex, at, the, like, at this point in my relationship, it's pretty much like... Oliver Twist status, It's kind of just like, hey, do you want to have sex? Sex time. It's yeah. like, come on. We're, sex, please. We're scheduled yeah. for our sex. It's, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard thing not to fall into. It really sucks. Yeah. Now, we've, we've, the, the one thing that helps us is it's a long-distance relationship. Yeah. So like it's, it, I don't have to ask, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like, hey, I'm home. Yeah. I haven't seen you in fucking four days. Sex. Game time. Yep. Boom. I'm bringing the average dick. Exactly. Hard. Dude, that's, what else can you bring? Straight down the turnpike. Ooh. I drive down the PA turnpike to deliver fucking. You're, so you're going to roll home. Dawn. You're going to roll home. When are you going home again? I don't know. It, well, that gives us Give a good it, out. Save her up for seven days, bro. I had an argument today with my bae. Did you really? Not, not a real one, but she. whenever she's driving in her fucking car, she'll call me. Ugh. And they just use you as like exactly. a weird time slave. I hate and that. It, that's dude. what I told her. I hate that. Today, I finally stood my ground. Ugh. I fucking GZM'd it and I stood my ground. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to trave on me with that phone call. And really? <laughs> said, Put the Skittles down, you dumb bitch. Damn. Yeah, that was just, I don't know what the Skittles I'm missing Trayvon you. Martin had Skittles okay. when he was murdered by a fucking fat Hispanic <laughs> retard. <laughs> yeah. Um,. <laughs> and I was jokingly glorifying George, but uh, yeah, that's sick. You start explaining. All I gotta have the... to explain all these. You, you, got, you gotta start getting like a disclaimer. I gotta have people keep coming up to me like, "Dude, you're racist as fuck." It's like, nah, bro, nah, dude. I just I'm know chill. what it's funny to act yeah. like a fucking idiot. Well, it's also funny to abbreviate GZM. Yeah, of course. But uh, <laughs> anyway, my girlfriend called me from the car. She was like, "I'm going to Aldi's right now," and I was like, "I know what you're doing." Oh Don't. God! I was like, you know, I was in the middle of a video game. Ugh. Middle of a game. You got to fucking flip up the headset. Saints versus Raiders. Oh. I was sitting there playing Madden. I got to hit pause and be like, oh, cool. What are you getting at? All she, these. Yeah. She's, she's like just fishing for a bunch of uh uh-huh. It's like, is That's, that what dude, you want to hear me say uh-huh 50 literally times? Literally, I can sit there and go, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can do that. Every three minutes, I can just <laughs> chime in and be like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. I, I, I have, this is fucked up, but I have done that. Yeah. Just like put it on speaker, sit it next to me. Whenever she stops, chime in and just be like... Turn the volume down on the game. Huh? Yeah, you turn the volume down on Madden and you're just like, seriously? Yeah. No. I mean, it's it's fucked up because I want to talk to her. Well, not in that but capacity. Not, I'm like, that's what I said to her. I was like, just when you get home, call me. Yeah. When you when you have free time, yep. give me a call. You're because right using, now you're using your fucking car ride yep. to call me. They do that a lot My too. My mom does that. Yeah, they do it a lot too when it's like... They're going to meet like their friends or whatever out. They get there early. They call you and they're like, "Hey, yeah, no one's here." And oh, they're like, here. See ya. Bye. Boom. And it's like, <laughs> "What the fuck am I?" It's like, just look, look on fucking Instagram. Don't call me. Yeah, I hate that, man. That happens all the time. I do. I do it to people though, so I can't. I can't really talk shit. Yeah. I, sometimes I do it to my well, friends, but there's a different phone call. There's a way different phone call between you and me than me and my girlfriend. Yeah. We're me, both talking, and if any point yeah. either of us like, I gotta go. I'm like, Shane's gotta go. Put my phone down. Continue to drive. I'm yes. never just like. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, and but. it's it's also like the the this phone call today was pre- it, they're usually particularly one dimensional. Yeah. It's just her telling me about her day. Well, I, that's that's another thing I think women need She's to kind of do. Stating her entire day about like, and this is my friend Michelle, and we went here, and Michelle was a bit tired, so we had to fucking like yeah. that rigamaroo or whatever yeah, rigamarole. Rigamarole. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think they. Women, I was like, I, oh man, I swear, women have a thing where they like. 
Kirby's dreamland their entire day and like they like absorb all the details until they feel like bloated with them they're like oh god and they just have to like spew them <laughs> on you like, I'm playing mad. I had a sweet potato for lunch I'm like, like it's third and long right now in the fourth quarter dude I need to make this play oh here that comes a phone me. call about fucking what my dog's doing <laughs> <laughs> that sucks and then like, do love, minute by, by minute traffic updates when it's like oh my god this person just switched lanes fucking and I'm like, asshole <laughs> Like, all right, that's cool. Uh, oh, don't want to hear. Bothered me now. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. I, I get these calls all the time, and I didn't want her to be upset. So you just did you take it? You said, "Look, no, I, I know was, what's going I, on." And she was like, "Oh, I didn't know you're going to be like grumpy or rude." And I was like, "I'm not being rude. Yeah, this conversation's fine." You have to just tell her you're not a time slave. Like, I'm not a time, a time slave. slave. Well, she knows I also do nothing all day. So that's the killer. You never, argument. you can never tell your girlfriend how much money you make or what you do that day. Yeah, it's tough for me to escape. Like, I got. Yeah. She doesn't understand that playing Madden is more important than that phone call. Dude, you Especially because ha- it's a mindless phone call. If she And that's what I told her. Oh, I was like, I was like if you called me with something to say or something to ask or really something to tell me other than, hey, oh, my God, my kids were crazy today at school. This, uh-huh. blah, 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 blah. So she calls you like, right when she gets out of work. Was, yeah, she was driving home that's a, that's or a, driving to Aldi's or That's my babe. Shit. As soon as she gets out, phone call, and it's like everything stops. Like, so what happened? Oh my god, that fucking bitch! No way, really. And it's just like, <laughs> dude, it's every day, man. It's it, I'm telling you, and it's like they get like wrapped up in like three little beefs a day. To where like, a bitch. Then, yeah, oh, dude, it's like never any beefs of just like it's. I've coined this the perpetual girl problem. Perpetual girl problem. Girls have like, this never ending problem that just constantly changes and morphs and like takes a different shape every day, and it's just yeah. like a never ending yarn about like this weird thing that's happening that's very, constantly. That's a very good terminology never ending girl problems are it's the perpetual girl problem it's the very pgp real it's the pgp you got the ptps and then dude don't start me on the female ego that's the sick and twisted world of that i don't even want to get into that i think we we've touched we've on that we've touched on it and the female ego especially when it comes to getting engaged and getting married it's and baby showers it's or the all weird, gender reveals the weird interaction between women depending on their looks they kind of establish just like they fight to establish this mm. weird pecking order and then there's like Girls who are friends with guys, when then guys start dating another girl, then the girl will call the other girl to like meet the guy's girlfriend and try to start comparing with her. Dude, I've gotten a lot mm-hmm. of insight into this, and it's like, it's just like a you like lift it up and look into it and go, holy fuck, I don't want to <laughs> think about that anymore. It's it's insane. It's crazy. It's like looking into a, uh, a boiling pot of <laughs> sauce, and the steam just comes up and hits you in the face. You're like, oh fuck, I don't understand it, <laughs> dude. It's crazy. I've watched that before. I've watched like women kind of compete for like the attention of a, like a specific man, and I've been mm-hmm. like, "This is odd." I dated a girl who did that. We we're hanging out with her ex boyfriend and her the ex boyfriend's current girlfriend. Gross! Why were you doing that? It's, I was young. I didn't know. She was like, "It's How my friend." It's my friend. I was like twenty five. Damn, that's not that young. But it was still. I've always been like, whatever. I'm cool. I can handle this. And like, and I was. I actually met yeah. the guy, and we were cool. I didn't have any problem with yeah, him. Of course. But I like was watching this like interaction, and it was just like. Oh, you still fucking love this guy. And I had to like sit there and watch it the whole time. And then like, oh, God. Yeah, it was bizarre. And they were like literally competing for this guy's attention. I was just like chilling, just like, it's cool. I'm cool with this. I'm an open minded guy. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. That's, that's one of the downfalls of smoking a lot of weed. What's that? You, you like, think you're open minded? You think you're super, you're like, I can take this. It's cool. I'm chill. And then like eventually yeah. just something hits where you're just like, fuck this. Yeah. Freak out. I mean, I think the older I've gotten too. I-